Congresswoman Claudia Tenney from House Foreign Affairs, along with former Deputy National Security Advisor, author of the book Revolution, Trump, Washington, and We the People, KT McFarlane. It's great to have you both on. It's good to see you both again. You know, first to you, Congresswoman, Iran nuclear talks now on the brink of collapse after Russia made last-minute demands to exempt its business with Iran from sanctions. Talks likely hitting the pause button for now. Your comments on that? Yeah, I'll, I just penned an article that should be published soon on the Iran nuclear deal, the one the Democrats are trying to broker with Russia, incredibly. Uh, this is a terrible deal. It would give up to $90 billion in sanctions. Rob Malley, who negotiated the last failed deal under President Obama, is negotiating this deal. It would let go uh, people who uh, were responsible for killing the Marines in the 1983, 1983 massacre in Beirut. Uh, it would give up to $7 billion to Iran to release hostages. So we're getting in the hostage trade industry, which is only going to encourage Iran to take even more hostages. It's a terrible to stop Iran from uh, continuing to develop nuclear weapons. We need serious people at the negotiating table. It's going to put our allies in the Middle East at risk. I'm glad it's not working right now, but we need to have a solution in the Middle East. Part of the problem is that the Biden administration is just hostile toward many of our players in the Middle East, and they're not showing any leadership or strength or projecting it as yep. we continue in this just incredibly terrible war in, in, in Ukraine. And KT, get, moving on to China, China reports, uh, if Reuters is saying, pushing for a ceasefire, uh, China's premier is saying the Ukraine situation is disconcerting. It's important to support ceasefire talks. Russia is heading into a deep recession. The ruble is collapsing. Interest rates and inflation dramatically spiking. There's mm -hmm. talk that Putin is opening the door to nationalizing and seizing the assets of Western companies pulling out of Russia. Well, we don't have that. We, the United States, don't have a lot in Russia anyway, so whatever he sees this isn't going to be that big a deal. The, the important thing, though, right now is we're entering a very dangerous and tricky phase of this war. Putin has not gotten what he's wanted, and yet he's, he will do anything. I mean, he will level that country to, to claim some kind of a victory. And on the other hand, this has been a war that everybody's miscalculated. You know, Putin miscalculated the ability of the army. He miscalculated the resistance of the Ukrainians. We, the West, we cal miscalculated on Putin's intentions. And so here we are, where it's escalating and escalating, but the real damage that's being done to Russia isn't even by the sanctions. It isn't even by their international reputation. It's by the sort of snowball effect of social media and canceling Russia and the companies which have gotten on board and said, I think rightfully, they don't want to do business in Russia. So it's credit card companies, it's franchise companies, it's all of the sort of way Russia lives its life um, and, the, and the goods that it imports yeah. based on the revenues it collects out of oil money. That's what's really hurting the Russians Yeah, today. we hear you. And back at home, Congresswoman, the White House now, we're talking about substantially higher inflation. Treasury Secretary Yellen saying it could stay uncomfortably high for the next 12 months. We're talking above 8 percent. The recent read, 7.9, doesn't include gas price spikes. So this, the number could go higher by the summer. Let's listen to White House Press Secretary saying that part of what we've done has already had an impact on inflation. Watch Nancy Pelosi say, quote, sadly, the Republicans insisted every penny we spent on COVID in the latest bill be paid for. Watch this. Is there something you want to point to that's the, what the White House is doing to provide short-term relief, like immediate relief to the rising costs? I would say that a huge part of what we've done has provided, has had an impact already. On the COVID relief bill, unfortunately, you had to have six, 60 votes in the Senate, and we couldn't get 60 votes without uh, taking money out of the state allocations that were in the, uh, the rescue package. Again, uh, sadly, the Republicans insisted that every penny uh, uh, for the COVID be offset. What's your reaction, Congresswoman? I mean, it's amazing that we don't get to balance our budgets in the federal government. Well, it's obvious we have over $30 trillion in debt, and they're totally irresponsible. And Janet going to have to suffer with 10 percent inflation. We have the answers right there on the table. We have energy and we have abundant energy supplies right in my own district in upstate New York. Let's unleash our energy independence. Let's take back the leverage that Vladimir Putin has against Europe and against the United States. And you allude to this later. I'm interested to hear, you know, there has been evidence that the Russians have spent hundreds of millions of dollars moving the United States and moving Europe 
to green energy away from fossil fuels just to embolden them and make them even stronger with their yeah. leverage on energy. We're gonna it's get incredible. And, we're, and we sit here and with our hands tied. And by the way, the White House put out a statement yesterday, once we all have electric cars, we won't have to worry about fossil fuel dependence and people like Putin leveraging us. And right now, if you go to the energy website, they're talking about fossil fuels, you know, right now, fund or, or pr protecting and pr being part of the energy grid that's fueling yeah, these that's right. uh, electric cars. That's right. You know, the New York Times, Washington Post slamming Biden and Democrats warning KT that Americans are unhappy with inflation. The Washington Post saying many on the left don't want to hear what Americans are talking about. They're thinking that, oh, you know, maybe Americans have just been tricked into thinking that everything's bad because of the media and Republicans are talking about it. That's what the left thinks in this country. What do you say? <laughs> Look, the, the inflation is all about energy. It's always all been, been about energy. We won the Cold War because we drove the price of oil from $40 to $18 a barrel in nine months. It bankrupted Russia. Because of energy, because we have gotten out of the energy business thanks to the Biden administration, we are not producing the amount of oil and natural gas we could. We're not exporting liquefied natural okay. gas to Europe. As a result, that's why we have inflation, and that's why the Russians are rich. Congresswoman Tenney, Katie McFarland, it's good to see you both. Come back soon.